Good day, good twelfth. My name is Kaden Matsukere. I'm the owner and I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks. And welcome to 1.10 Under Dynamics of Imperfect Markets. Well, this one says here: yeah, Study the cartoon below and answer the questions that follow. Sorry, Mr. Edison. Google, Microsoft, and Facebook claim they own the patent. Okay, so a patent, well, will restrict other producers from producing or copying your invention so let's say you invent a product then you register a patent for your product then that will give you the sole right to manufacture your invention and profit from it before others begin to profit from your you know idea so well that's what we see here and so if you invent something and that thing has never been made before then and you patent that well you are becoming you are going to become a monopoly in the production of that thing and you becoming a monopoly you have become artificially so because if others reverse engineer they can copy your idea and provide it with you and uh, so then what's really preventing them from joining you is the patent. So you become the sole provider, which then makes you a monopoly. And your product is unique because, wow, you invented it. So basically, that's the concept. Now, identify the type of monopoly. Well, this one is artificial. It is artificial because of the patent. Uh, if there is no patent and others are failing to do to to imitate your invention or whatever it is that you provide then you are naturally a monopoly then what is the nature of the product uh, offered by monopolies well it is unique and has no close substitute briefly describe the term patent well i did in the introduction well a patent will is is what a legal like a sole uh, what can I say? How can I put it? When uh, there is something that is preventing others from copying your invention and uh, so legally so, you are the sole provider of a product because of um, the law saying that others cannot copy your invention. Well, that's too long, but you can summarize that and put it, uh, you know. Then how does the slope of a monopolist demand curve differ from monopolistic well from the previous video i was talking about this difference monopolistic monopolist and the other difference is this one will have competition but here they say competitor right so the difference is the one for monopoly or monopolist is inelastic the one for monopolistic is elastic or highly elastic so the difference we can see it from a king demand curve let me just show you right the one for escom would look like this the one for mcdonald's would look like this so the demand curve for mcdonald's mcfist would look like this the demand curve for electricity would look like this a change in price here would grossly affect quantity demanded a change in price here will slightly affect quantity demanded so that's the difference ne? okay back to our question where were we okay then now why do state-owned monopolies in south africa find it difficult to make economic profits well things like corruption uh, are, are the reasons let's have a look what type of monopoly is discussed in the extract they say natural how is this natural there's no way there is no way they are mad these people it's a patent and then how can a patent be natural now nah, that doesn't make sense oh <laughs> 1.9 okay i get it this is 110 okay I was going, I was ready to fight. Okay, 110. Yes, it is artificial. Yes, there it is. Then what is the nature of the product offered by monopolies? Yes, it's unique. Then briefly describe the term patent. It gives one exclusive right to manufacture a product. Well, I said it in a very long way, but 
I said the sole provider of a good, yes. And that is legal. So you actually register a patent. Then how does the slope of yes, we said this one is inelastic. Which one is inelastic? The one for monopoly. Yes. And the one for monopolistic is highly elastic. Then why do state-owned enterprise... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, state-owned monopolies, yeah, in South Africa find it difficult to make economic profit. Well, some state-owned monopolies in South Africa have a historical a history in corruption and incompetence, which compromises the ability to make profit. Then also due to huge maintenance costs, Revenue is not uh, sufficient to cover all and also debt of municipalities. People are not paying for electricity and all that. So that reduces the state owns revenue. Uh, then regulation bodies such as NASA limit high <clears throat> prices, uh, high price increases that reduce revenue. Then over reliance on bailouts. <clears throat> leads to inefficiencies in management decision making processes you see i'm forcing but i have to because you guys are writing i have flu i'm sick i've been sneezing coughing and all that and uh but i'm making videos regardless but i guess you can hear me quite well well this has brought us to the end of this particular video as always like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video god bless